Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 18 of the Pac-Man Pack only Road to Glory series. And as you can see, it's the start of a brand new season. We got promoted into Division 7, so it's time to crack on in the new league with this Brazilian side. So you can see we've uh, we've added Artur Moraes to the starting 11. Recently pulled him in a pack. He's going to slot very nicely into this team and is definitely an improvement on the previous goalkeeper you had. So the first game is going to be against a really, really strong Bremen. Premier, Premier League side uh, Torres and Benteke up front with uh, Wayne Rooney sat behind them. Moses and Walker out wide with Jack Wilshere holding Ashley Cole, Yunus Kabul, Mamadou Sarko, Mike Richards and Simon Minile are the defenders and the goalkeeper. So it's definitely an extremely strong side. One that we going to be really up against it against almost so to speak but so uh, we actually got off to a decent start Firmino's going to uh, pick the ball up as he's knocked on from the corner drill it across and uh, Jardel who missed the first header as it got cleared he's on the end of it the centre back he's uh, showing some real intac attacking intent there to get himself in the right place at the right time at the back of the box to put us 1-0 up early on but it wasn't long before uh, he brought us back to 1-1 uh, the ball played by Moses through everyone straight to Wayne Rooney who then had the shot through everyone else and it went into the back of the net but Rooney's going to be involved again still inside the first 20 minutes a great free kick good save from the goalkeeper but doesn't really get it anywhere clear and uh, it falls into a danger zone and Mamadou Sarko's on hand to do a roly-poly into the net as he puts them 2-1 up and he's actually going to make it 3-1 here basically from nothing it's route one a free kick flicked on and Wayne Rooney's on hand makes a great one no one tracks him and uh, you would expect Rooney to finish that in all circumstances and he does so so with 3-1 down heading into the second half Paolo links up very well with Thiago Neves down the le the, uh, the left hand side plays into Roberto Firmino great dummy to turn inside the defender and again it's going to be a rebound goal this time it's Thiago Ribeiro on the end of the shot from the post and uh, that brings us back to 3-2 but unfortunately we weren't able to get anything else out of that game so 3-2 is the final score so we take a defeat in the first game of uh, this Division 7 season but not to worry we're going to jump straight into the next game going back to back with the same Brazilian side coming up against Bingo Boys it's another Premier League side although it's a little bit weaker you've got uh, Brad Guzan in goal Fabio Mertesaka Colo Torre and Branislav Ivanovic at the back so really not much pace there uh, but the pace is up top with Kone Kevin Morales out wide and of course Alex Oxley chamberlain on the opposite side with uh, a couple of other players in the grado not much pace but a lot of strength up top but we got off to a great start here as he plays, passes the ball straight out to, uh, to Wellington from the goal kick I was re I actually genuinely wasn't paying attention when he played that ball out he got the goal kick I turned to my laptop to do something turned back and uh, Wellington had the ball at his feet so it kind of took my time reacting was like oh shit managed to finish it but unfortunately he was just going to go up the other end a couple of minutes later and make it 1-1 Aruna Kona it's a tame shot and I was quite annoyed at the time the goalkeeper didn't able to get down to it because there was no power behind it whatsoever but uh, it didn't matter because just two or three minutes later we were going to go up the other end to go Thiago Ribeiro scored in the last game it scores in this one it shows great composure to turn inside beat the first challenge and then slot the ball tidily underneath the goalkeeper into the far bottom corner to make it 2-1 and then we were actually almost going to make it 3-1 here Danilo Diaz couldn't quite make it around the goalkeeper he's going to catch me on the counter attack nice tidy 1-2 between Kone and Negredo and then Negredo doesn't have a lot of pace as we said but my defence has even less and he's still able to race away and pop the ball into the back of the net with a, he's got a really really good left foot Alvaro Negredo and again you would expect him to finish that much like the Rooney chance in the previous game but into the second half only a couple of minutes into it uh, Danilo Diaz plays through Thiago Ribeiro really tidy left footed finish shot into the far bottom corners the goalkeeper comes out can't get down quick enough maybe too much forward momentum not able to change the weight on his feet get down to save it on the right hand side and we do go 3-2 up so we've gone ahead three times in this one and uh, we're actually going to go go get pulled back to level terms for the third time in this one as well Aruna Kone another again I was really disappointed the defender letting that go through his legs from uh, Alvaro Negredo but a good finish from Kone much like the uh, the finish that put us 3-2 ahead uh, keeper not able to uh, transfer his momentum from forward to sideways and we were actually going to go 4-3 down in the, in the latter stages 85th minute Negredo another good finish beating the challenge of the, the defender to uh, to make it 4-3 but we showed great resilience he came back from being behind to come back level three times and it was only fair that we did the same great compose from Danilo Dilas to, uh, to cut inside and finish with a really nice uh, left foot shot into the bottom corner and I was actually fortunate that the uh, the ball didn't hit the uh, the other man in front of him because that could have ricocheted anywhere it would have been just my luck for that to happen but as you can see we're into the stoppage time now at the end of the second half it's 4-4 Guzan makes a fantastic save and we're going to pick up a corner it's definitely going to be the last chance of the game going to get whipped in by Thiago Neves up goes Thiago Ribeiro and it's just over the bar great power on the header but not enough accuracy it flies over the top and that is how this particular game is going to end it's 
is going to end 4-4. So two games in this episode and 13 goals. But we do end up with a single point so far in Division 7. So it's a half decent start. As you can see, we had enough, to, enough chances and enough possession in that game to maybe get a victory. So uh, I am confident heading forward into the rest of this Division 7 season that we are going to at least be able to keep ourselves in this particular league but as you can see we've got a season ticket pack to open up in the particular or in the last particular season ticket pack we actually got very fortunate indeed and managed to pull a David Alaba who uh, as yet as of yet hasn't played a single game for us because uh, we don't really have a side that he fits into but as we covered he is staying in the squad we're not selling him on selling him on he will be played when he gets the chance to be played but as we can see the gold spinny ball going around we actually pull a Blaise Matuidi in this pack a great pull also advanced hits from Levante a, uh, an Austrian Austrian central attacking midfielder, not much pace, so I'm not sure whether he'll actually slot into the team because, of course, we do have Koke in that particular role, and he is a much better player all round. But very, very pleased with Matuidi. Also, a couple of Dutch players as well. Maybe we'll be able to fit them into a side. But uh, we also picked up a, uh, a new football as well. It's kind of a Pro Evo style football with the, you know, the black and white hexagonal patches. But uh, that is going to bring this particular episode to a close, guys. So do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. Of course, feel free again to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation over the Pac-Man on your screen and there will be an annotation over the Pink Ghost as well to uh, take you to the previous episode in this series if you did miss it and again as it says on screen follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming there is a link to that in the description as well but that is going to bring this one to a close I've uh, just picked up Football Manager 14 so if you do excuse me I'm going to go and play some of that so I'll see you tomorrow with a double upload pack opening so do be sure to check that out on the channel page tomorrow so uh, yeah I will see you on Sunday.